new Love Jihad hotline launches in India. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad, or VHP, a Hindu nationalist organization, has launched a helpline in Mangaluru, India, for women who are alleged victims of forced religious conversions or interfaith marriages, referred to as Love Jihad. The helpline purports to provide legal and medical assistance, counseling, and rehabilitation to the victims and their family members. The helpline is operated by a 20-member team, 20 team consisting of counselors, doctors, and other volunteers. Quote, many Hindu girls have been converted to Islam, killed, and used to smuggle drugs in the name of love. We have seen all this in coastal Karnataka for many years. That's why, to prevent all such incidents, we have started this Love Jihad hotline, which can be accessed by anyone who has been trapped in the Love Jihad, said Pradeep uh, Saripala, the publicity head of VHP. The term love jihad is controversial and refers to an alleged phenomenon where Muslim men lure Hindu women to convert to Islam through various methods such as seduction, deception, and marriage. Well, are they getting any calls? I don't know. I mean, they haven't revealed any of that information yet. But, you know, yeah, they now have a, a, a hotline, a helpline for the victims of Love Jihad. Which, which do not exist in India. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's tough. I, th I feel like there is a high probability that this will be used by family members who don't like who their daughters are dating to oh, then yeah. go harass the couples and the people who just want to have an interfaith relationship and be left alone. So for people who don't know, uh, Love Jihad is mostly a conspiracy theory that does not happen. I mean, India is big, so everything happens in India. Every random thing you could think of happens in India. So, but by mo but mostly it's a conspiracy theory mostly right so what they what these people call love jihad is just uh, muslim men and hindu women genuinely falling in love and having there's no coercion no force no brainwashing just genuinely cu couples falling for each other and wanting to marry each other or dating each other and they have no problem with it. It's just the other people around them have an issue with it. It's not them that they have an issue with it. It's the family or the neighborhood or some Hindutva gang that see that and they're not pleased with it. And they go and harass these people and tell them that this is not real love. And this is like a, this is a war uh, for the demo to change the demographics of India, apparently. We have entire gangs of Hindutva uh, with sticks looking for young couples for Muslim men being with Hindu women to try to punish them. All right. We have oh, they'll training. go assault random dudes that are just like hanging out with their friends that happen to be Hindu women. Like they're actually yeah. promoting like oh, yeah. segregation. Yeah. Yeah. We have training camps, young boys being taken to training camps to show them how to abuse Muslim men talking to Hindu women, all in the name of avoiding this conspiracy theory called love jihad, right? Again, conservative men are very similar. You know, right-leaning people take talking about they're taking our women. Yeah. Why are they so like I mean, these people have ne never met. Like Hindu right-leaning people in India have not met white nationalists in North American Europe. And they somehow act exactly like them. I don't know I mean, how. Sometimes they actually do take direct inspiration. Oh, to yeah. be fair. But yeah. But like, oh yeah, they're the taking time, yeah. our woman narrative is very similar. And they go and go around with stakes trying to they crash weddings. They have they have they have attacked and kidnapped women uh, that were married already, pregnant women that were married with Muslim men. And they called the police on them. And the police, instead of arresting the gang, have arrested the woman, even though they were married legally. And they, uh, we had a story where the woman's, uh, you know, baby was um, was miscarried. died, miscarried because of the whole incident. It is like, uh, it's insane. It's insane. And now they have hotlines. 
And I think, like, Susanna, you're right. I think this that's how it's not going to be, like, woman calling, like, excuse me, I'm, I'm here today. I was, like, forced into this relationship by this Muslim man. I don't think that's the type of call they're going to get. I think the type of call, yeah, you're right. I think the type of call they're going to get is, like, I just saw a Muslim-sounding, a, Muslim a man with a Muslim name talking to this beautiful Hindu girl, and I think something is happening. You have to come here. You send, send, send everybody you have so that we could beat the crap out of this man. So I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So Mitra is bringing up a very good point, saying the mindset of Hindutva is seeing Hindu-born women as their breeding tools is so similar to Islamists. That's basically mm -hmm. what it, it's. It, this, it's this insecurity that they're going to be forced to convert to Islam, and therefore, under Islamic law, all the children will also be Muslims as well. So it's like they're taking the children from them as well from the community, so to speak. Um, I think one thing that's important to not acknowledge is like, <laughs> Cajun American is saying, I hope they get flooded with trolls. Actually, I don't, I mean, not a bad idea. Like the thing is, is that there are incidents in India where there is a, um, it'll come up every few months, Maybe, maybe not months, like a couple cases a year that I'm aware of, where there will be a Hindu girl who was maybe dating a Muslim dude, or maybe she refused him. Actually, usually it, she rejected him. And then he begins to stalk her, and then she gets murdered, essentially. Like a, there's a word for this, like a jealous lover, jilted lover syndrome, I think it's called. Um, which I actually hate that terminology, but whatever. And because of the identity groups, the, the victim and the perpetrator, it's like automatically politicized when it when those individual instances don't actually fit into the pattern of the conspiracy that is alleged. You know, so it's actually such a disservice to the people who are victimized by these things to turn it into this giant narrative that then like is used to weaponize hate against a community just because of the identity groups that they happen to fall into. Oh, we can't hear that. No, no but do, is there anything? No, I don't want to show. I don't want to show. It, it's just like a news lady explaining it. Mm. Oh, look at this poster. To rescue of, oh my God, to rescue of sisters falling prey to love jihad. Love Jihad Helpline. Look at, oh my God, look at No, no, this. no. Oh, the saffron little wristband. I didn't the even saffron. notice that. Yeah, look at this. This is how they, this is how they see themselves. Like, they're like, oh, we're saving our woman. They're like, oh, I'm going to, because they get, you know, they get so filled with rage. Why are these hundred women? Why are they not falling for me? How could they be falling for Ahmed? How could they be falling for, for Abdullah? Why are they not falling in love for me? I should go save them. They, obviously, they wouldn't choose Ahmed over me willingly. They're being brainwashed. And they're like, look at this. Like, I will go and take Well, and then look at what back. it says at the bottom. Love jihad free Hindu society is our goal. Oh, my God. Hindus, like, what? Look at this. Hindu society is our goal. Like, they're like saying the quiet part out loud. They're just trying to cleanse society. Oh my god! I mean, this is also this is coming from the VHP, so we shouldn't be surprised because, like, the VHP literally went after us, Armin. So, like, yeah. this yeah. is, you know, I, it's look like it's you. You could be that Hindu man. Look at that. Look at the the saffron thing. It's so. Oh my God! Like yes, you will save that girl, and she will fall. Like I think, like I will go get him from Ahmad, and she will be so grateful, and she will fall for me instead. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, as a proper Hindu woman should. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, this is an interesting comment. Um, the prince that was promised is saying, "I'm from India. I'm a queer ex-Muslim, ex-atheist, wannabe Catholic." Uh, Ketraman. I think that means that you're you want to take your catechism. I, I don't know how to pronounce that the right way. Um, and I have to emphasize, I you know, I got to emphasize enough how much discrimination I have faced for being all for by Hindu nationalists. Yeah, I I believe you. I mean, there's so Wow, you actually have, 
look at the like i don't know if this is you have marked everything you have gone through everything hindu nationalists hate actually <laughs> that's kind of that's such an accomplishment <laughs> amazing you're like can i have you can should I be pat the greatest yourself target? on the back for like being the checklist of like i have single-handedly in my entire being become yeah. everything that will make them angry the only thing that you could add to that list would be Dal Dalit? being a communist oh being yes. an urban noxalite and then you have then you're like a complete dream <laughs> <laughs> Can you get out be of a, India? Be a Catholic convert, communist, queer, ex-Muslim. <laughs> Do you happen to also be a Dalit by any chance? That would my, that would be perfect. Okay. Yeah, then you can add uh, that to the list. But that is like you've earned so many like stripes. Oh, look at it! <laughs> I am very <laughs> I am very proud. You should be. You should be. I mean, not for being an ex atheist, but I, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Armin can't just be happy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um all right. No, shut up. No, you're kidding me. He's also saying I'm an ex Trotskyist communist too. Are oh, you well. are you are you serious right now? Because if you are, <laughs> then I can't I mean atheist in India, that is that is possible. Atheist oh my God. he was an atheist in India, so there's that. Amazing, amazing. Oh, and beef eating. Selva Kumar is very importantly bringing it up. That's very important, Selva. Thank you. I can't believe we forgot that. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Hypnosis is saying <laughs> at least be vegan, have some leverage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Well, so, like Prometheus and Army White. Yes, yeah, I said like if you're an atheist and you're in India, you probably have been or have been or at some point have been a, a commie. So, yeah. Or around and, commies. No? Nah? Maybe or, you maybe uh, have not yeah, been a like, commie, yeah, but you've probably been around commies. Let's be let's be honest, you probably probably flirted with communism at some point if you're I mean, an atheist I flirted with communism that's not fair <laughs> but okay but it's more likely if you are an indian atheist compared to an american in uh, atheist you're probably more likely that at some point you're either a commie or at some point you have probably touched you know considered communism in india it's like i'm it's gonna more qualify like... that with saying it depends on what region you're from Yes, yes. If you're from I'm the just saying south, it's more it's likely. Healthy. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying it's more likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, see, confirmation from India itself. <laughs> Look, and, <laughs> oh, Asian American is also. Yeah. Flirted with comments. All right. Can we clap for dalliance, the next A little dalliance with the guys. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Prometheus is like we identify as anti-national. That's a, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. <laughs> okay, okay. Can I clap for the next news? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. This is a good comment, basically. A secular writer saying, hey, baby, how do you feel about the redistribution of wealth tonight <laughs> equals the flirting <laughs> 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 All right. All right. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.